Then, the ideological background, uh, conservatism and neoliberalism. Neo and some of the stakeholders, clinicians and researchers. Then, about the king funds. Uh, we have three members to discuss this. Then, we can listen. Thank you. Uh, uh, napadaan lang. Uh, good, if, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Jackie Lulusano. I'll be the one to report the uh, health policy about uh, England in UK. I have a brief introduction. What is NHS? NHS is a National Health Service in UK. NHS is an organization that provides a variety of services, support to patients and carriers. So NHS is an organization uh, that provides a variety of any kind of services in terms of health services. Not only to the patient, but also serve for the carriers. Carriers means uh, they are the nurses, the doctors, practitioners, and all the workers inside the hospitals. NHS set up to uh, healthcare providing primary and secondary or in the community. NHS also is one of the largest public health system in the world and they serve as an average of 1 million people every 36 hours. The goals of NHS includes the universality, universality and equal opportunity of human being and uh, free delivery uh, equity you need the quality of service deserved or the value and the central funding so central fundings meaning the tools that uh, uh, if you want to give some uh, charities in terms of tools or equipment inside the hospital so they are accepted it in global standards NSS provides an excellent standards of health care. They rank on 2013 in survey as number one throughout the world. In 2021, they rank as overall 10th uh, uh, in, in the World Index of Health Innovation. NHS also is the respected public institution in UK. So, the number one uh, policy in UK is the NHS Direct. NHS Direct is uh, telemed uh, telecommunication. Uh, it's an uh, information that you can access through hotline or helpline that offers guidance to the patient and give information to the patient. It was established and introduced in 1998. Uh, for example, you are living in UK, you can dial in this number. This is the hotline number or the helpline number. So this number, using the lead nurse or the patient itself to ask like uh, if they want to go in the hospital, like if you are making appointment to the doctors and you are living in the UK in, rural, uh, in uh, remote areas, you can dial this number if it is the doctor available inside the hospital. NSS Direct M initially to do for health services offer more fastest, accessible, and convenient with health concern about people of UK, as I told you before. The second one is the NICE. NICE is a public health guidance. The role of uh, NICE is to improve the health and well-being by putting service and evidence to the, the heart of health and care and making decisions. So the work of NICE is um, mainly responsibility to access new drugs and treatments as they become available. For example, uh, we experienced COVID-19. So these are the, the the rules is to discover new drugs like that and treatments to give us uh, people uh, medicine or vaccine. 
provides also the guidelines how public health and social care services can support people. So, meaning they give us advice uh, not only for the individuals, but they give recommendations to the uh, to the public, especially uh, in particular topic like smoking. And the second one is um, their population, like uh, school children. They they give some advices like. If uh, in the Philippines the DOH give advice to the children that uh, tomorrow you have to uh, we we give some vaccines of to the children, mm -hmm. so the nice also in UK is same uh, job that they do. Thus the second to the last one is NHS uh, 2000. This NHS 2000. Is a 10-year plan, especially they, they give this um, from the ministry that all the employment people living in England, they have the like opportunity that they can avail this plan to create the patient-centered health system. Health system. Um, this plan was a uh, political support and 25 signatory. Uh, including the uh, DRS trade union, charities, and local government. The last one is NH performance. Uh, NH performance, uh, this uh, was established or start on 2021. Uh, NH's performance is uh, like a grading system in the, inside the hospitals, and um, they start this to to aim the end excuses like uh, some of the patient, some of the member of the patient they are uh, uh, complaining that oh why my patient is died to so avoid that uh, some uh, accuses and inability so they have the rating, uh, grading system inside the hospital so they can avail like uh, like like in hotel, they have a five-star hotel, four-star hotel, like that. So that is the NHS performance. And thank you. Wow. Very serious. Congratulations. Who's next? Introduce yourself. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Ellen May Hanubas. I will be uh, discussing about ideological backgrounds that influence healthcare policy. So it consists of two, the con uh, conservatism and liberalism. So conservatism is, comes from the word conserve the society at it is. So they don't need like, um, you believe in change, but it is necessary, especially in their in their um, in their uh, status, like uh, their beliefs, their religions, their uh, norms, values. They want to preserve it, especially also in their structures. If you see in the England or Europe countries, they have the same buildings, same because they don't want change as as this because it's very. Uh, uh, way of uh, con conserve their um, society. So they believe also in the importance of stability and promote law and order to protect private property. Because we humans and England, uh, we have an like an eager to achieve something in our life. So uh, before, uh, that's why they have also a strong government and leaders to, put, to impose all orders, law orders. So you cannot do anything you want because there's still a government that to, to, to tell you that it's, it's not good. Like there's some laws also, even they are conservative. So uh, conservatism, we have no government sponsor, sponsorship of healthcare. They prepare all industries to be private. So it means even in their hospitals, they are not relying on government. The society itself and community are helping each other to provide what is needed in the community. So, uh, government should be in no way involved in one's healthcare processing decisions, especially if you are owner of the hospitals. So, you can manage through your own, like, 
you are so private. So it's private. You know, the government government don't have the right to 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 tell you to do like this. Like it's not good. So because you are the owner and you have also your stakeholders, shareholders in your company because it's private, not it's a government hospitals. So uh, conservatism also they have they have a belief to social order, private property and security is critical even it is excessive expense of freedom, rights and equality. We don't have an equal. It's not equal in conservatism. Because if you are in conservatism, you have, like, um, if you have a person that you are, because we are human, we have different mm -hmm. traits and uh, values. Like, uh, you are talented than me, so you are successful than me. If you are not working hard, then you, li you live like a poor. But if you are smart and you know a lot of things, then you will be successful and powerful. That's why in conservatives, they have a division of rich and poor. Okay? And then... And conservatism also, uh, it's not that we don't want change. We just want, uh, like radical, like, um, gradual, like slowly, slowly. Because they have to, to, to think first if it's good for their, their society or it's not. So now I will discuss about liberal, li neoliberalism. But before that, we, I have to, 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 to explain what is liberal, because liberal it came from the Latin word free, so it's it means and um, neoliberalism is refers to economic freedom. So um, political ideology which emphasizes the freedom of individuals regarding many things as religion, individuality, politics, and democracy. So it means in neo neoliberalism we have democracy. So people in England have the right to vote. They have the right to do this uh, as long as the, the, it's good for the society. So they have the right to, to vote who will be set on the, on the position like a minister, but they preserve the monarchy of England. You don't want to change that one. So uh, neoliberalism promotes the uh, free trade and economy, free political views of Universal health care to provide the government to all the citizens. So government should provide more services to the less fortunate people, like health, especially if you are street vendors. Example, uh, rug pickers, flower sellers, bigars, and the people who have less education. So because they don't have a nice job. So the government, uh, some, the government, uh, have fund, funded to, 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 to give them a proper uh, housing, proper food, and, and especially in health. So many, many citizens relying on the government services for healthcare and unemployment insurance like pensions. So that's why, because in liberalism, that is create also unemployment. Because people are relying on government, why I should work? Because there's government that uh, provide me everything what I need. There is healthcare, there, I have, like I, I can be like uh, maybe maybe being lazy sometimes because I can rely on the government. So and then there are some examples of uh, conservative and neoliberalism. So we can different the differences. Okay. So in conservative, we prefer on smaller government, uh, less uh, regulation of rules, more services provided by the private sector. That's the conservative. And in neoliberalism, prefer more regulation. And services like free universal health care provided by the government to all the citizens. So you see the difference? Yes. So, and then next example is less taxes and spend less. Cutting spending to balance budget should be the priority. So the conservative is very smart on handling because they, they, they are very independent. Unlike the neoliberalism, government should provide more services to the less fortunate. So another example, high income earners should have the incentive to invest. If you are conservative, if you are rich, you will become more rich because your money is yours. Unlike in liberalism, high income earners should pay higher taxes because why? The taxes that government take from the uh, higher income earners, they are defunded to the people who are less fortunate. 
So that, that the, the money came from, from the government. So, and the, in, um, conservative is charity is the responsibility of the people. So they are helping each other as in the society as a community. They're, if we want to do something, let's, in a community like, for example, there's typhoon, and then you they create some organization, oh, we help them, there's no need to just ask for the government to go and help them. So that's the differences. And also, conservative, they oppose gay marriage. They don't like gay marriage, abortion, embryotic same still research. So they are opposed on that. So, but in neoliberalism, gay couples have equal rights to get married. They have the rights to get married, be happy, and, and abortion is legal. Embryonic still sim is legal also. So, that's it. So, we will go to stakeholders. So, Ati Jackie will be the one to report. It. Thank you. Uh, there are two kinds of stakeholders. One is um, the clinicians. The second one is the researcher. Clinicians, uh, like for example, the doctors, practitioners, um, nurses, uh, working inside hospitals or taking care of the patients, they are called the clinicians. While the researcher, researcher is... Um, Someone who conduct research, but open, open times or the scientists open themselves to describe that they are researcher also. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, classmate and uh, sir, mom, good afternoon. Uh, I'm the one in charge of the King's Pants, number one and number two. Uh, it's, it's all about NHS. Uh, I explain uh, yeah. uh, about NHS National Health Services. I give you seven essential skills required, required to work in the NHS. Number one is caring people. This is obviously the one of most important skill needed. Number two, people skill, how you commitment and deal with people, whether patient or work colleagues, it's vital in all NHS rule. Number three, knowledge of NHS value system and working practice. Number four, organizing and planning, being able to manage uh, your workload in essential skill needed when working in the NHS. Number five, handling stress and pressure. Uh, number uh, six, taking responsibility for your ongoing professional development. And number seven, working as part of a team, putting the needs of the NHS about everything else. That's it. Number three and number four. Good afternoon, HSC class. I'm Christy Oyangurin, reporting for the King's Fund, uh, number three and number four policy. Uh, first of all, what is King's Fund? King's Fund is an independent think tank which is involved with work relating with the system in England. In theory of uh, number three is the quality, innovation, productivity of prevention, which is theory of QIPP. Number one is QIPP is about how it, NHS can. It will improve quality, become more innovative. <laughs> become more innovative, deliver on prevention activities, which could prevent more costly poor health in the future for the benefit of patients, their careers, carers, and the NHS. Number four is to the integrated care programs, which aim to provide coordinated proactive person 
centered with multidisciplinary care by two or more collaborating care providers in the same or different health or social care organizations. That's it. Thank you. Uh, thank you for listening for group one. I hope it, it can help you for your modules and as well as you can uh, as well as the report about the NHS. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone.